because it will affect just looking at the Aussie dollar it will affect your decision with the New Zealand yen it will affect your decision with all the rest please I said look at it I didn't say take it okay just look at this guys You can see that they actually began discounting it all the way down to the 102.24. We really did push back up again to the 103. And now we came back and revisited the 102.24. And this has been a pretty powerful structure i think i mean like i was telling you about the 97.77 in the dollar yen that it is mediocre it hasn't proven itself but if you want a structure point that has proven itself time and time again it's the 102.24 so that said go we will take it short below the 102.24 that that is this has proven itself a million times. It is going to be our structure short point and it is going to be our stop. Okay. Uh, on the long side, I mean, look at this. This is 102.21. This is 102.24. This is, it's the same 102.21, 102.21. It's identical. So it's not a failure to make a low. Neither it is a, so we really don't have a, pretty much of a, This is our structure point here. So we will buy it above the structure point, just again because of the range of the low. So we will buy it above the structure point, which is the 103.30. So we will buy it above the structure point, which is the 103.31, and we will short it below the structure, which is the 102.24. So uh, we'll be buying it above the structure long point and we'll be selling it below the structure short point. Okay, that is the Aussie dollar. So we're gonna save that.